On the video side of Photoshop, you can change opacity over time. That is, you can use keyframes to animate opacity. To follow along, go to Working Files, go to Photoshop PSD Files, and open up 0702 Opacity. I've got three clips here. Let me show you this one on the bottom by turning off visibility for the upper track there. There's this little clip on the bottom serving as our background, kind of, the static wide shot of these flowers. And then on top of that, we've got two other clips. I'll turn on visibility again. Got a tight shot of that flower and a tight shot over here. What I want to do is I want to start this one on top fully opaque, drop it down to about 50%, hold it for a while, then drop it down to 0% opacity, completely transparent. Then I want to bring this one on, starting at 0% opacity, bring it to about 50%, hold it for a while, and then pop it up to 100% for a while. You're going to see that that's fairly straightforward, except for the second clip. You can't apply keyframes to more than one clip in a track, but I'll show you how to overcome that. So let's just start off with this first clip here. I'm going to click on it. Let's open up this little disclosure triangle there or here. Either one works to open up this group of keyframes. In the previous lesson, I talked about the transform property, and to get there, you had to convert this to a smart object. But opacity is available right here. There's no need to convert this to a smart object. All right, let's just start off by bringing this guy over to the left, right to the beginning. Got the playhead at the start there. I want this to start at 100% opacity. So I'm going to turn on the keyframe for opacity, toggle that animation on. That adds a keyframe there. And it's currently at 100% opacity because if I click on this and see that it's clicked over here, I see that its opacity is 100%. All right, let's gradually drop it down to 50. So by about this point into the clip, I want it to be 50. So I just go back over here, change this to 50. I can just gradually pull it down to 50 or I can type in 50, but there you go, dropped it to 50. Now look what's happened. It's gone from one keyframe to the next. So it starts out completely opaque and then it gradually becomes 50% opaque. Now I want to hold this for a while, so I'm going to pull my playhead a little farther in there. I'm going to click on this diamond over here on the left, and that will add a keyframe that's equal to this one right here. I click there. So the value here is 50% opacity right there. The value for this one is 50%, so it holds it from this keyframe to that keyframe. All right, now I want to drop it down to 0% opacity, so I'm going to bring it a little farther in like this toward the end. I want to drop it to 0%, so I just use my scrubby tool over here and drag this down to 0. There you go. So that is pretty straightforward. We've animated opacity from 100% down to 50, holding the 50, and then down to zero at the end. Now that I've placed these keyframes here, I can change their timing if I want to. Maybe I want to have this thing at 100% opacity for a little bit longer. So I can pull this to the right, and that means it's going to be 100% from here to here, and then it'll start dropping. I can pull this a little farther to the right to have it take a little longer to drop to 50%. We can hold it this far and then drop it down to zero. So you can always change the position, the timing of a keyframe, and that won't change the value of the keyframe. You can navigate to the keyframes with these little triangles over here. So I'm going to navigate to the left here like that, and it'll go to this keyframe. And it tells me that it's 50% over here. So it didn't change the value when I moved it. It just changed the timing. I can go to the right one notch there, that one, and again, it's 50%. And go farther to the right, to the last one, and it is 0%. So nothing changed in terms of the value, just the placement here and time. All right, now I want this next one to come on gradually, to start off at 0% opacity and then gradually come on. So you'd think that all you need to do would be to click on it to select it, move the play it into it like that, and now you want to just add a keyframe. So I'm going to go over here, for example, and click on the opacity little diamond there, and it adds a keyframe. But notice what happened. It turned this one off and switched on this one. So when you add another keyframe here, it's not for this one, it's for this one, even though this clip is done. It adds a keyframe as if it were putting it on this clip, despite the fact that the clip isn't there. So it doesn't work if you want to apply keyframes to a second clip in a track. I'll undo that by doing Control or Command Z. What we need to do to overcome this is to put this one on a different track. I'm going to take Flower 6, which is this one right here, and lift it up above Video Group 2 to create its own little track up there, right there. And now there it is right above there. And now we can keyframe that. So we'll go through the same process here. I'll close down this one. We'll open up this one here. I'm going to turn on keyframes for the beginning by clicking this little stopwatch, this toggle animation switch there. I'm going to then have it set to zero instead of the current 100. So I'm going to drop it to zero like that. So it would be totally transparent. We'll bring it along here for a little while. We'll lift it to 50% now. Let's use my scrubby tool here and drag it to the right to get to about 50 or so, right there. Now we'll hold that for a while. So I'll go to the right a little farther. And I'll just click on this little diamond to add one. So we're 0 to 50, 50 to 50, and now we're going to go a little farther and make it 100% opaque. We're just changing it. When you change the value with the play it in a new place, it automatically adds a keyframe for that clip. 
So now we go from zero, where it's totally transparent, comes up to 50% opacity, holds that for a while, and then goes up to 100%. And if I want to hold the 100% a little bit longer, I can put it to the left a little bit like that, and it'll hold it longer. If I want to slow down the transition, I can move that like that. Now notice if I change the blending modes here, let's say I go over here and change the blending mode to something like, oh, I don't know, hard light, let's say. It does not create a keyframe. You can't keyframe the blending mode. It's going to be hard light throughout there. So I'm just going to go back to normal here for this particular case. So there you go. That's how you animate opacity using keyframes.